Let's review two MagSafe phone holders to keep you from dropping your phone in the car. One from Endable and one from Belkin. Welcome to Eclectic Ideas. Now let's unbox the Endable first. And this is what you get in the box. This is what it looks like. We have the clamp here on the back and the carbon fiber, which looks very nice. What else do we get in here? We get the operating instructions, we get the happy, not happy QR code, we get the adhesive tabs, and we're going to get the magnetic rings that will transform a non-MagSafe phone into a MagSafe one. And let's go ahead and open the Belkin at this point. And let's see what we get in this package. Oh, the plastic tray. Okay, let's slide that out. Okay, we get a... Okay, this is what this unit looks like. And we get a very basic pictographic description of how to assemble the unit. Okay, so let's look at this one, and it's very, very soft and silicony on the front. It's got like that kind of a rubberized feel. That's nice. Let's look at this one. It's got the carbon fiber. It's very smooth, but it's not soft, and but it feels quite durable. This plastic, to me, feels much more durable. Like if you accidentally slip and drop it on the street, it may go ahead and bounce and survive. This one has that real plasticky plasticky thing that I'm not sure it's quite as tough. Both of them pivot like this. You can turn it any way you want on your vent. That's very handy. So there's a ball joint in here too. Andable also has a ball joint like this to give it any way you want. Now this one, you have to go ahead and to accept the vent, the vent slot, you're going to have to just push it on. And this is a little rubberized, so I don't think it's going to hurt your vent at all but it doesn't adjust. If you look at this one, this one will actually dial down to change the teeth so that it's gonna clip on any size vent you want. So that's very handy. Uh, both have a cable management system. It's not quite as obvious on the Andable, but we'll show you that in a second. On the Belkin, it's supposed to go right in here. And if you have the thin cord, I think you can go ahead and prise it in we're not going to do that because I don't want to hurt my cord, but I think it will go in. However, if you have one of these extra durable cords like this, no. And whenever we go on a road trip, we like to take this one because it just holds up a little better. And it, it's just not going to go in there. I don't... You might could prize it, but it's not wanting to fit. Let's put it that way. Now, this one is interesting. It comes with this right here. You can see it's magnetic. <laughs> so I'm going to pop it on here. So I just pop this guy off. And I mean, it holds pretty good. I don't think you're in danger of losing it. It's got a very durable magnet on it. So here we're just going to push the cord in. Well, <laughs> did you see it pop back on it? That's funny. Okay, let's try again. So we're just going to pop this in and then it's just going to charge your phone like that. You can bend it around and pivot it to whatever you need. And unless you pull on it pretty hard, it's gonna stay on there. So let's show you from the side. See, clever. And it will also work with your wider part as well. Just like that. Boink. With the smaller siliconized cord, it goes up and down much easier. So this one, it, it's not going to go up and down. It's going to just stay where you put it, but yeah. There's that. Now here we're given the templates to fit to any phone you need to attach these magnetic rings. And we have done a video that we'll include here to show you how to do that. And you get the LCD cleaning wipes as well. That's the strength of the magnet in the lab here. So let's take this one and let's just see if I'm gluing it on. Okay, it, it made a connection. It's nice. It feels like I kind of have to hunt. Okay, there, it's, it's in now, I guess. And let's go ahead and see what happens if we hit a bumpy road. Oh, oh, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, I get a little bit and it falls off. I don't, I don't love that. Okay, let's say it's in the car this way, you know, flat, and you hit a bumpy road. You're, it's gone. It's going to be in the floor or elsewhere. That's 
Yeah. I put the towel under it just as a precaution, but I look, I'm not even, I mean, I'm just like really nothing. I don't, it, yeah, not, not excited about that. No. Bring the andable over here and I can, I, I, that's weird. I can feel the power of the magnet from before it even gets there. Okay, now it's on. Let's try it here like so. I can't get rid of it. Like I'm shaking harder than I was on that one and it's not coming off. Okay, let's do it from, it did twist a little. I think you can see that it twisted. That's about it. Let's try from here. Now, we're doing out a bumpy road. It's really bumpy, guys. Oh, wow. Nothing, nothing. This is way more durable. Let's do it from the side here. So you can see. I like this. This is way better than this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there is no contest. If you want this as a desk mount, it can work great. A magnetic case, that that really helps stabilize even more. But if you're using your phone without the case, yeah. So here it is with the case. Let's go, let's, let's do like, we're riding down a, a bumpy road. It still came off. With a magnetic case, this one, I think you could total the car and it would still be on it. <laughs> Look at this, this is like really, really, yeah, firm. So let's do this way. I kind of like the black look with it too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this one is just, it's on there. Show you a live demonstration. Let's push it. You want to be careful not to bend these vents. So that's my big concern here with mounting it on something like this. And there we go. Okay. It does kind of lock in a hole there, but I don't like it's, it is pushing my vent down. I don't love that. So why don't we just go ahead and, if you're removing it, I would go ahead and push onto the vent unit to keep it stable. Let's put it in the bottom. I think it's just gonna work better in the bottom because it's got that platform to rest on. Yeah, I think that's more stable. So let's stick the phone on and see how that's working. Okay, it caught in. Let's do landscape. So anytime you need to pivot, just go ahead and hold this unit just to keep it from breaking your vent. Because I think that may be more expensive than if this breaks. So let's go ahead and stick that on. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. But this one distributes the weight evenly across any vent you put it. So wherever you put it, it's going to be stabilized. So if the bottom vent doesn't work for you, you do have other options. We're just gonna put it here though, and we're gonna clamp it to this way, like so. Nice and stable. And we're gonna put it first like this. Yeah, that's a really good catch. And then we're gonna, it'll pivot for you. We're gonna pull it off so you can see it's gonna pivot any way you like. We're gonna do landscape. There we go. Find the place it fits in. It feels really stable. And it's not bowing my vent at all. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and remove it from our air vent. And we're just going to loosen the wing nut behind it. So I feel like the Andable was the clear winner here between Andable and Belkin. And if you need a car mount to hold it on, it's actually much easier to remove than this. I'm just trying to keep my fingers where you can see it. But this will keep your phone in one place and give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.